This week, we give thanks to fans, sponsors, and our community in this double helping Thanksgiving portion of Beyond the Bench. places. The seasons of change are upon us, and in more ways than one. As fall begins to give way to winter here in Helena, Montana, the seasonal change for the Bighorns hockey team can also be felt on a similar level. It's just one week into November and the team is struggling. A young group of hockey players are learning that in order to win, they must first learn what it means to lose. Adversity is a part of every hockey team, but Helena seems to be buried in it, like a fresh mountain snowfall that buries you in your driveway. Well, losing five in a row never feels good. I mean, that's for sure. And I mean, it's as a as a coach, you know, we're here because we're competitors as well. So as a you know, just as a competitor, it's hard not to get down. So, I mean, yeah, you've just got to kind of take a look in the mirror a little bit and, and think about what are, what's our goals and everything. So you can't get too down because even though it's five in a row, um, it's not six, it's not seven, right? It's just five. Still a lot of season left. We can turn it around. But there's got to be a little bit of shift in mentality there. But in the weeks since the calendar rolled over from October into November, the team is beginning to come together. A big 6-2 win in Haver, Montana on Friday, November 11th gave some confidence to this young Bighorn squad and snapped a five-game losing streak at the same time. The momentum carried into the rivalry game with Missoula as the Bighorn shut down the Bruins in one of the best games played on home ice since the season opener back in September. Now Matthews bringing it across. Rigerick in there to break it up. 12 seconds left. Broken up. Here's a break. Brad Estrada open net. He scores with five seconds remaining. Bighorns with a three to one lead. Big win for the hell of the Bighorns over the Missoula Bruins. I think overall, like, like I said, we wanted to change things in practice, so we did a little bit. And I mean, we've always, we're, we're always talking about giving it 100% and coming ready to work and being willing to practice uh, like you're going to play in the game, things like that. I mean, we've heard it all before, but at the same time, we just decided to kind of bring out the competitive spirit in all the players throughout the week. So I can sit there and tell those guys a hundred times, it's got to be faster, it's got to be quicker. But all of a sudden, if we dangle either a prize or punishment in front of them, get them into game-like situations where we're keeping score, then it's just naturally going to come out. And I think that's what we that's what we tried to do last week. Instead of us telling them, just put them in those situations, let that spirit come out, and it definitely did. Playing a vital role for the team's recent turnaround is a core of rabid, dedicated Bighorns fans. And found among them at every hockey game here at the Helena Ice Arena are a group of special folks who make playing at home so powerful. In the fall, this group of talented athletes invited the Bighorns to take part at the Special Olympics of Montana Basketball Tournament opening ceremonies. This is an annual marquee event in the Queen City and a staple of tradition for Bighorns players, coaches, and staff to take part in for the last three years. However, it is rumored that this is the last year the tournament will be held in Helena. Those athletes just have a great outlook on life and they're always positive and I mean we can all take something from that. So. When you come to the rink and you're not so happy about how the previous practice went or how the previous game went, you can think about that and say, hey, these guys are positive every day and they're always working hard and we can take something from them for sure. I mean, that's just the way it goes. Like, that's why we do community things. I swear, you know, like most people will say, the guys doing the, that kind of work benefit more than the, the people you're doing it for, for sure. So I think that's probably why we're small and laughing.
Another contributing factor to the change in seasons this team is experiencing could be the work they put into their own development. In the addition to the intensity of practice time is the team's strict off-ice regimen. A mix of dryland plyometric and weight training is essential for any athlete's growth. The team has found the perfect fit for these needs at Atlas Fitness in Helena. Hi, I'm Stacy Fridham from Atlas Fitness. Atlas Fitness is focused on strength training and high intensity cardio. We offer uh, indoor turf, um, tires, battle ropes, weighted sled. We have all the free weight equipment that you could want and we have a lot more. The partnership with the Bighorns has been great. Uh, the facility is perfect for them to work out and take their strength training to the next level. A combination of the strength training, my equipment, my facility will make them better players on the ice. Um, I think it's been great for everybody. Um, it's a great place to be. We kind of can do our own thing there and they got nice equipment for us and we can go as a team and it's great for us. Now, as November moves into December and we reach the halfway point of the schedule soon, this team is showing signs that it now believes it can win, something every fan can certainly be thankful for. All my unemployed and the people that stress All my college graduates working the front desk Two strikes on the mound looking for the change up Find Sally Mae, pay her, give her the fang up Cuz, all we ever wanted was security Get my mom's a being spot to 4 one fifty And all my cousin's education's free Cause I'm passing out tuition first rounds on me So, go ahead and get that nursing degree And, yeah, you know we got no rent No balance on the credit with low interest And we need a store with more than what we came with what we can't get's an overnight shipment Can't tell the haters, haters say we trippin' Yeah, it's just a matter of time So we sit back and tell ourselves that we'll be fine Cut.